In this video, we're going to look at a concept which at first seems much more complicated than it actually is. So we're going to delve uh, into the concept of why it works the way it does. We're going to be looking at Maxwell relations for this video. So let's start with just some review of multivariable calculus. Let's say we have a function f, and that function depends on two variables, x and y. Okay, so if we've seen multivariable calculus before, you've seen a function that depends on multiple variables like this. So if I want to write the total differential of f, I have df, some infinitesimal change in f, is equal to the partial derivative of f with respect to x at constant y times the differential of x plus partial derivative of f with respect to y at constant x times the tiny change in y. So any tiny change in x or any tiny change in y will add together to result in the total tiny change in this function f. Okay, so then if we look at second derivatives, or specifically the mixed partial second derivatives, we can look at things like this where if we take the second derivative, partial second partial derivative of f with respect to x and respect to y, that this is just equal to, we have partial derivative of f with respect to y, a constant x, and then the partial derivative of that with respect to x. Similarly, we can have second partial derivative of f dy dx. Let me get that in a different color as well. Okay, pop up the x again. All right, we have second partial derivative of f with respect to y and x, which is just equal to partial derivative of y of partial derivative of f with respect to x at constant y. So you see first here, we differentiate with respect to y, and then we differentiate with respect to x. Here we differentiate with respect to x, and then we differentiate with respect to y. So these are called mixed partial derivatives, where we take the partial derivative with respect to one variable and then with respect to another. And those two variables are different. So there's a theorem in multivariable calculus, which is very important, that shows that these types of mixed partial derivatives are equal to each other. That if I differentiate f with respect to y and then with respect to x, that's equivalent to differentiating it with respect to x and then respect with respect to y. So mixed partial derivatives are equal. So equality of mixed partial derivatives. And it's this entire concept on which Maxwell relations are founded upon. So we have thermodynamic functions. We have things like we have du equals TDS minus PDV. And we also showed in terms of partial, partial uh, derivatives, du will also equal du ds constant v ds plus du dv at constant s dv. So u is a function of s and v, as we've seen before. Just like f is a function of x and y, u is a function of s and v. Those are the natural variables from that video. And that's equal to TDS minus PDV, or the equivalent uh, partial derivative statements there. So now let's look um, in terms of some mixed partial derivatives here. Let's take du ds at constant v. Let's differentiate that with respect to volume. So from our equivalents here, we showed in the previous video that du ds with, at constant v is just temperature because we see the correspondence of these two lines there. So this term here is temperature, so we have ddv of t. So that's partial derivative of temperature with respect to volume. 
and that would now be at constant entropy because we've differentiated with respect to volume there and it's other the other variable is s and we can do the same thing uh, in reverse finding the other par mixed partial derivative we can take du dv at constant s differentiate that with respect to entropy so du dv is here just minus pressure we can see the correspondence of those lines so we have d dv of minus p so this is equal to the minus partial derivative of pressure with respect to volume or partial derivative of, sorry this should be an s here I'm going to cancel that out s that's an s that's an s sorry about that okay s at constant volume okay so you'll notice that this top line up here this is just equal to the second partial derivative of u with respect to v and s and the second line here is d squared u ds dv so through this relationship here these two pr things must be equal to one another because they are this they are corresponding mixed partial derivatives so that means due to all of what we've written up here that dt dv at constant s must equal minus dp ds at constant v so this is all that is involved this is called the maxwell relation for internal energy internal energy is a function of two variables s and v if you take the mixed partial derivatives of s and v and you find out what they are in terms of state variables like temperature pressure volume entropy you get this equ equation here that the derivative of temperature with respect to volume is equal to the negative of the derivative of pressure with respect to entropy and this is a Maxwell relation and we are able to use these for certain situations where one of these derivatives comes up and it looks very complicated like dpds but we can substitute that for another one which looks less complicated like dp dt dv